So here we have an example of a video that I made a while ago and I just want to show you here how that it has these little timestamps on it. So basically you can cut up your videos into chapters. Very handy. How do you do it? Well, let's find out. Uh, notice here in my description of my video, there are some timestamps and you can write them in nice and easy. So when you are uploading a video for the first time, when you write your description, you can add in these timestamps or if you've already made the video and you want to go back and add them in, you can quite easily come to your video and go to edit video and this brings you to your description. All you need to do is make sure that you add these timestamps written exactly like this. You can put them at the start. In fact, probably most people put them at the start. So you could put so colon zero zero instead of at the end, which I've done. It's probably better, isn't it? So I'll just change those. Right, done that. Now, didn't really need to do that, but whatever. The only thing is, is that you have to have zero colon zero zero at the start, otherwise it doesn't work. If I took that away, the little chapters in the video won't show up. So let's just save that, save changes. That's done. Let's go back to the video. Just go back. Hey guys, Michael here. In this video, I am going to show you the basics of how to make a Google site using the new Google Sites. And yes, I say the new Google Sites, not to be confused with the classic Google Sites, which still exist, um, which is really horrible and gross and so very 1990s. Don't go there. We are using the new Google Sites, simply called Google Sites. Okay, 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 I get it. Um, so yeah, this is a video I made a little while ago and because it was quite long, I thought it was appropriate to put chapters in. So now, because I've gone back in and added that zero zero at the start, zero colon zero zero, it is now put in these beautiful little uh, chapter markers. And you can just click on those and jump to your next chapter at any stage. How good's that? So setting up new pages is simple and definitely worth putting them in, especially if your videos are a little bit longer than five minutes. Definitely worth chopping it up into chapters. Even if it's an important point or a funny joke or something you want to reference in your video, it's probably worthwhile putting a mention of it in there in your description. Now these descriptions and these little features probably I don't think show up if you have your website embedded in a a Google site for example so you'd need to point your audience to the, um, the actual YouTube video on YouTube uh, not the one embedded in your site so that they can make full use of those chapter markers if that's indeed what you want them to do hope that's a helpful video thanks for watching bye so if you found that useful maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe thanks for listening thanks for watching bye for now Thank <laughs> you.